Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about information gain. In our previous classes, we discussed about entropy and graphical intuition about decision trees. So please watch those classes and come back here. They will help you a lot in understanding information gain. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. So coming to information gain, let's take an example data set and understand what information gain is. The example data set which we discussed here is a play tennis data set. This we already discussed in our last class, entropy class. And in our graphical intuition class, we already discussed that the goal of decision tree, suppose let's say in our example data set, if you are having 10 columns, what's the goal of decision tree is? Identify a column that gives the best separation means that the column that is helping us a lot in doing the best prediction that column has to be identified. How to identify that column using information gain. So what we do here is we will calculate information gain for outlook. We will calculate information gain for temperature. We will calculate information gain for humidity. So we will calculate information gain for wind. For all the columns, we will calculate information gain. And out of these four columns, which column is having the highest information gain value? That, cal that column will be taken into consideration. That column is taken as the best column. So why that's best column? First, we will understand how to calculate information gain. At the end of the class, we will discuss why highest information gain value column is taken as the best column. That concept we will understand at the end of the class. So coming to how to calculate information gain. This is our data set. In this data set, we are having 5 negative points, 9 positive points. Positive points means S means play tennis, N means they don't play tennis, negative points. And in our last class, we discussed that how to calculate entropy for this data set. H of Y is equal to 9 positive points. 9 out of 14 points, 9 are positive points. 9 by 14 minus 9 by 14 log 9 by 14 base 2 minus 5 by 14 log 5 by 14 base 2. So if you calculated it, the entropy value, we got it as 0.94. So this is how we calculate entropy value. How to calculate information gain value? Information gain for Y comma outlook. So we are calculating information gain for outlook now. So how we calculate this is equation is H of Y means the data set entropy value minus weighted entropy of outlook. So how to calculate the weighted entropy of outlook? So in outlook, how many separations we have? We are having sunny, overcast and rain. In this, how many sunny data points are there? We are having sunny total 5 data points. Out of that, we are having 2 positive and 3 negative points. So calculate entropy only for sunny. So 2 positive and 3 negative values. So E is equal to 0.97. So you do the calculation. E is equal to entropy is equal to 0.97. The same way, overcast is having 4 data points. Out of these four data points, all are positive points, zero negative points. So if all are positive points, what's the entropy value? Zero. The same way, rain, total five points, three positive and two negative points, entropy is equal to 0.97. So we calculated entropies for sunny, overcast and rain. So how to calculate the weighted entropy? Sunny, how many points are there? Five. Out of 14. So 5 by 14 into 0.97, the entropy value plus 4 by 14 entropy is equal to 0 plus 5 by 14 into 0.97 the total weighted entropy we got here is 0.692 so what's the equation for information gain h of y minus weighted entropy of outlook so h of y is 0.94 minus 0.692 we got it as 0.246 so information gain value for outlook column is equal to 0.246 the same way we have to calculate information gain for temperature 0 0.029 you do the calculation we are not doing calculation here information gain for y comma wind we got it as 0 0.048 information gain for y comma humidity is equal to 0 0.151 out of these four columns information gain values which one is having the highest information gain value outlook is having the highest information gain value so we pick outlook as the root node. So why? 
So why highest information gain value is taking as the best column? Let's understand with is the equation. So what's the equation here? H of y minus weighted entropy of outlook. H of y minus weighted entropy of temperature. H of y minus weighted entropy of wind. H of y minus weighted entropy of humidity. So H of y is common for all the columns. What's changing here? Weighted entropy of outlook, weighted entropy of temperature. So when the information gain will be maximum, when this value will be maximum, if weighted entropy value is minimum because we are, we are doing sub subtraction from H of y. So when weighted entropy value of outlook is minimum, then we are having information gain value maximum. So when weighted entropy of uh, outlook value will be minimum, when the weighted entropy value will be minimum, let's check it. So weighted entropy value will be minimum when entropy values of the divisions are minimum. So that is what we discussed in our last class. In entropy class, if entropy value is minimum, what we have discussed? We are very certain to do prediction. If the entropy value is maximum, we are very uncertain to do prediction. That is what we discussed. So which column we have discussed, we are selecting here. So the values that are having minimum of entropy values, that's the columns we have selected. Weighted entropy value minimum, that column we are selecting. Okay, means we are selecting the column that is helping us in doing the best prediction, that column we are selecting. So in our example, what's the best column for now? For uh, outlook is the best column. We select it as a root node. Then we have to split the decision tree and then extend the decision tree. So how to construct the decision tree using information gain? We will discuss it in our next class. Here we will understand what's information gain and how it is helping us in identifying the best column. Hope you understand the concept. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.